So today's daily video is all about podcasts. Now I discovered podcasts a couple of years ago when I had an extremely long drive to work every day. It used to be an hour there and an hour back. So I started listening to various different podcasts. Uh, but in particular, I'm just going to highlight a few football ones for you today. And then tomorrow I'm going to be doing uh, Wolves ones, specific Wolves ones that I would recommend you listen to. I think um, there's a lot of good content out there uh, for Wolves some bad content as well, uh, but I think generally, I think we've got quite a decent uh, spread of different Wolves podcasts. But today we're talking about general football podcasts. The first one that I want to talk about is the Football Ramble. It's probably the most famous one or the biggest one that uh, I'll be covering today. They do a podcast twice a week, once on a Monday, once on a Thursday, previewing and then reviewing the Premier League action of, over the weekend. But as well as doing that, they do look at uh, some of the lower leagues and then any general uh, sort of world football stories that are amusing or interesting to look at. Uh, they've got a few quizzes as well at the end of the programme, which are quite entertaining and informative as well. So that's uh, the Football Ramble. The second podcast that I would like to recommend to you is uh, Quickly Kevin Will He Score, the 90s football podcast. Uh, this is Josh Widdicombe and a couple of his friends. Um, they look back at 90s football and they regularly have uh, quite high profile guests on the uh, programme as well as a couple of lower, lesser known acts perhaps, uh, people like uh, Tom Parry who's a Wolves fan, he was on there talking about Steve Bull and Wolves in the 90s, so you can go back and listen to that, that was quite entertaining. But my personal favourite was actually Frank Skinner uh, talking about the Albion during the 1990s, uh, a particularly funny story was his conversation with Jeff Astor once they'd been promoted from what is now League One in 93 I think it was, they'd finished fifth in the table and won the playoffs. And they had an open top bus parade around West Bromwich and Jeff Astor was asking why on earth that was happening. But yeah, that's that's a particularly favourite one of mine. That's, it's currently in its fourth series and they, they bring out an episode every um, Monday. It's about an hour long each time uh, and I really, really enjoy that one. Uh, the next podcast is one that's been around for quite a few years but I only found it really uh, in the summer. And it's Atletico Mint, which is Bob Mortimer uh, and Andy Dawson. Uh, their podcast, so need I say more, if you know anything about Bob Mortimer, he's <sighs> extremely funny in his own little way, uh, and it comes across in this podcast now. It's loosely based on football, but he's created a number of hilarious characters and songs and stories uh, through this podcast, uh, particularly favourite feature of mine is the Gangs of the EPL, uh, which is... Absolutely hilarious, I find. So there's 70 episodes of that at the moment, um, and he's just come back after because he's filming. He's just been filming a program, so he's back doing that. So it should be every week now. Uh, that's very very entertaining. The final two podcasts uh, I found quite recently. One of them is brand new as a podcast uh, in itself, uh, which is uh, at the match, which is from uh, journalist and broadcaster Andy Brassel who appears quite frequently on uh, a football ramble podcast called On the Continent. And he goes to football matches and just talks about the atmosphere in them and talks about uh, the plight of the clubs involved, perhaps, or the change in football atmosphere and that how um, perhaps football wasn't as safe in the past or how different football teams are perceived, things like that. It's quite interesting to listen to. Um, but I've... Uh, that's only just recently started, so it's interesting to see how that, that grows. And that's also an idea that I'd had a couple of months ago to record myself at the Wolves matches rather than doing a uh, vlog like uh, people like Finners and Dave has a party have done in the past and Dazzling Dave, doing a podcast uh, at the match, would, which would have been different, but alas, it's been taken there by Andy Brassel uh, with a podcast called At the Match, so that's very good. The final one is a mockumentary called uh, The Offensive, which is following a fictional football team called Ashwood City FC, who are playing in the Premier League. They've never been relegated from the Premier League, apparently, and they're one of the founder members of the Football League. They're playing against uh, teams in the, the current season of the Premier League. Uh, but it really follows the background stuff, the boardroom and, uh, and things like that. And it's quite funny, quite entertaining. Uh, easy to just sit and listen to in the background. So there you are. Hopefully, if you don't listen to podcasts, you might start listening to some of them and find them as entertaining as I do. Or if you do listen to podcasts, but you haven't heard of any of these or a couple of them, then hopefully you'll enjoy them as well. Let me know in the comments down below if there are any podcasts that you listen to that you think everybody should do. Uh, and don't forget to tune back in tomorrow for more 
Wolves podcasts and which Wolves podcasts I think you should be listening to. But anyway, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.